This is a classic at this point, guys. Um, it is one of the oldest collaborations. Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Walk Sauce, and I'm back with another review. This time we're gonna be going over the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott from High Foot. So I believe this is my second shoe from High Foot. Um, the last shoe was pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and see if this shoe does the same justice. Let's go ahead and get right into it. There it is, we can sort of see it behind the bubble wrap. Let's go ahead and take it out of the external packaging. So here's the box right out of the packaging. We got a brown box instead of a black box. Um, the label is pretty standard. We got a flappy tag, which is nice. Um, this is a woman's shoe, so I went ahead and got the size 12, which converts to a men's 10 and a half. Um, the rest of the box is pretty standard though. Let's go ahead and take off the lid, guys. So right off the bat, we're seeing a couple cool things. We got our StockX verification card and a sticker. And then we also got a Nike receipt as well as a sales memo in there. We'll go ahead and set those aside. And then here's a first glance at the shoe. We'll go ahead and set this one aside since it doesn't have any laces attached. We'll go ahead and look for the one with the laces. So really quickly there is our stock X tag. Um, we'll just go ahead and put that aside as well. One of these size stickers is also stuck to it. So right here we have an abundance of extra laces. We have the red lace, we have the white lace, and then we also have a pink lace and a brown lace, all of which look good. Um, let's go ahead and quickly just look at the details on this one, and then we'll set everything aside and we'll look at the other one. Right away, we have our pockets in the top of the shoe right here. So that is nice, it does go all the way around. It is pretty dope, so that looks good. And then the stitching all on this side looks good. Um, somebody in my Discord was talking about this and this being an, um, a stitching issue. That is on every single retail pairs, as well as right here. You're gonna see that on every single retail pair. So if, like, I know what you mean, but like, come on man, please know what you're talking about. Um, looking at the toe box, we have a nice leather. Uh, it's bouncing back up and it's looking really nice when you press it down. As well as the holes, they're also looking good on the toe box there. Moving on to the inner side. Everything looks good on this side as well. If we had a flashlight, we would see that this lights up. It's just the classic Cactus Jack prints. And then moving on to the back, we have the nice Cactus Jack face. So like I said, let's go ahead and put this shoe aside. We'll go ahead and look at the other shoe. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So here's a look at the other shoe, freshly out of the box. We went over the other one really briefly. As you can see, the suede is moving pretty good. It's not as good as it could be, but uh, nevertheless, this shoe is pretty good for what it is. Um, the leather is nice. We do have that nice tumbled leather on the white parts. Um, again, the toe box looks super good. All the holes are looking nice. I'll give you guys some nice close B-roll, but you can see that the stitching is looking good. Everything looks nice. Moving on to the inner side. Again, we have that nice classic Cactus Jack prints. It would light up if you did shine it with a flashlight. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tongue here. Um, we have that nice classic Nike swoosh air. I'm seeing a little bit of um, almost like a smear, but uh, that happens also with weather, so not too worried about that. Um, and then we have that nice Cactus Jack on the tongue as well. All the stitching looks good there as well. Moving on to the inside of the tongue. All the stitching looks nice and even on the tag. And uh, again, the stitching looks good on the back side as well. What do you guys think? I think High Foot did really well with this shoe. Um, I'll definitely be ordering from them again. Um, I believe this was my second shoe, like I said. It might have even been my third. It is hard to keep track after you get so many shoes, guys. And then the bottom does have that classic brown um, Air Jordan 1 outsole. I forgot to mention that. Let me know what you guys think about High Foot's Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott's. This is a classic at this point, guys. Um, it is one of the oldest collaborations, if not the first, I can't really remember. But yeah, drop a comment, let me know what you guys think about their shoe. 
Do you guys have any questions about this shoe or about the company or about any other shoe? Just drop those questions down below in the comment section as well. And like the video because then new people can find my channel as well. And if you're new, of course, leave a subscription. Anyways, guys, it's Walk Sauce. Peace.